thank you so much. And as Tommy said, I run a company called Getting Naked. Well, we strip back the layers mentally as opposed to physically, so I will be taking my, keeping my dress on tonight. Although, maybe if us ladies cheer enough, loud enough, later, these men may get their jacks off. Yeah? Oh, he loves it. <laughs> so I've been invited here to talk to you about self-love and the relationship that we have with ourselves, which does remain quite elusive for most people. Um, now when I say relationship with self, often it can be a little bit like, what is that? What do you mean by that? Well, when you look in the mirror, what do you see? When you look there, do you go, she's hot, he's hot? Or do you go, mm, there's a few great hairs there, or there's a bit of a blemish there? Because what you ultimately want to be able to do is look in that mirror and go, you know what, she's rocking, and I love her and accept her unconditionally. However, most people have a bit of an issue with this, and I know I certainly did in my teens. I was the butt of everyone's joke. My nickname was Surfboard because I had such a flat chest. And so like many women, I decided I was gonna go out and find a way to get my breasts to grow naturally, if possible. And so I did a little bit of research and found that bananas were supposed to be really good. And so what you had to do was you had to get some really ripe bananas mash them up and wear them in your bra for a couple of hours every day and it was meant to stimulate the growth hormone so then that they would evolve. Within about six months, my breasts did grow. Whether this was a coincidence or I was just going through puberty, I'm not quite sure, but it worked. That said, these breasts that I now had didn't fill the gap. I still felt like there was something missing. And over the next six to eight years, I went through severe clinical depression to the point that I was a risk to myself and was about to be admitted to a mental home. I had a lot of serious health ailments as well. And so again, I started the experimentation to try and work out what I could find that would get rid of all of those issues. And it's this formula that I came up with that I now actually teach to people in my company getting naked. And so once I was mentally and physically well, then I still felt like there was something missing. And this time, it was a guy. I was thinking, I've, I've kissed so many toads, toad after toad after toad, none of them turning into a prince, what's going on? And then I thought, maybe, maybe, just perhaps, I had something to do with that. I was the common denominator, so I thought, right, I'm going to date something, someone really special. <laughs> someone really worth my while. And I actually found that person looking back at me in the mirror. So I decided to date myself, pull out for six months, wine and dine myself, put all the energy that I would put into a lover, into myself, get to know myself intimately. And during this time, I was given front row seats to my own insecurities and hang-ups. So it was quite a confronting time. And again, I used those techniques that I used to overcome the depression and the serious health ailments to clear out the blocks that had been stopping me from finding the one that I would call the one. And so I got to this time and I went, you know what, I've cleared all this stuff. I'm actually really happy dating myself and I don't really need a guy anymore. And it was when I got to that point that my prince rode on in in his Toyota Starlet, swept me off my Converse wearing feet, bearing all of the qualities that I had ever dreamed of plus more. And since then we've been together, learning, growing together, um, having a really transparent and honest relationship. Now, the point of this story is that it's not about everything out there. It's not about the external. It's about what's in here. And there was a lot of lessons that I had to learn, which you will find in my book, Getting Naked, The Dating Game, which we are giving away copies tonight. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but really, it is about spending time with you, clearing out all the barriers that you have against love, all the barriers that are stopping you from being really happy from within. And so if you can carve out a little bit of time this week just to get to know you, spend a little bit of time with you, find out what's really stopping you from achieving what it is that you want in your life, I think that's going to really help. So thank you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Party on. Um, I will leave you with one quote. 
To fall in love with oneself is the beginning of a lifelong romance. Thank you.